Well, hello everyone. And this week should be the last of my kind of weird one-off Friday videos, unless you like them, in which case let me know and I can uh, certainly continue doing stuff like this. But um, I wanted to do something that was just kind of kind of be a little bit of fun today, break up from the uh, monotony of what we'd been doing before. And uh, that, I guess, brought us to Super Mario Pinball. So that's going to be where uh, we play around with things for a little bit and just kind of see how it ends up. I've only heard of this game. I don't really know a whole lot about it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, figure some things out. And I guess it's based off of, uh, well, pinball, of course. But, my question is, kind of how does it work? So we'll just kind of have to figure that out. And it looks like we're going to be shot out of a cannon into uh, a little bit of a new area here, I suppose, maybe. So let's just kind of see where this brings us. And what we can do with it. So it looks like we have some sort of power-up that we can store on our B button if we pick it up. And I don't know... I imagine that we have to hit that item box in the top in order to grab it. And we did. So that gives us a pipe, but again, I don't know off the top of my head what that's going to do for us. Ooh, we've got a uh, door opened up back there, so maybe we can make our way through that door. Oh, that was not great, but uh, everything comes with a learning curve, and it looks like we get to take our score here, if we will, and just kind of see where that takes us. So that's going to send us back out. It looks like we're still in the same zone that we were in just a moment ago. And that brings us into, I guess, this new world. And I guess we have to take out the Goombas in order to get that star to show up. Or maybe it's inside the... I don't know if we have to take out all these uh, wasps as well, or if we need to make our way into here. Looks like we've got ourselves a bit of a boss fight of sorts. And we'll have to see if we can actually make contact here with him. As opposed to being all up and around the room here. Unless the objective is to cause the plant to get dizzy. Oh no, it's not. It's to get some direct hits here. Not bad, actually. I don't think that that's the craziest thing that we've had to look out for here. Let's see if we can't get back through that star door. There we are. Oh, there's a toad here, and I don't know what he wants. He wants to sell us things, but... We don't have anything that we can really buy off him. So let's see if we can't make our way around these different guys here. And we got stung back up into the piranha room. And back around in some circles it looks like is what we're going to do for a minute. 
There we go. Ooh, that was pretty good there. Oh, we got spit back out, and we hit him a third time. I'm guessing that's all we needed. Yeah, that was uh, Mr. Piranha. And there's a key, which is a star key, but not a star. Oh, that's going to unlock a, an ability for us to do something a bit later, I suppose. And I don't know what the objective is for getting the star in here. So we're just going to hit some guys around and see if we can't make our way up towards that cannon. And again, I think that there's something going on in here that we need to be aware of. Okay. So we want to take the cannon for sure. There we are. And that's going to send us back to menu select, I believe. So we've already been there. We'll want to try a bit of a different zone, somewhere where we can get a new... star, if possible. I'm assuming that that's what the objective is. And I don't know if we can actually get that guy. Um, we're just gonna back out of that shop. Interesting that there is a um, there is a uh, progress bar pipe that keeps us from completely failing unless we end up throwing ourselves way too far out in the wrong direction, but I'm not upset with that attempt at all. So we're just going to have to see where we end up. I don't want to buy anything off of Toad. And let's see if we can't make it up through that door. Because I'd love to see whatever... boss fight or item is waiting up there for us. Oh, that was so close. And get up there. There we are. So we've got a bunch of penguins. And if we hit into them, they slide all over the place. And that's kind of interesting, for sure. Well, that's alright. So, let's go ahead and hit continue. We'll go through this about one more time. And see where that brings us to. Oh, there's a... Bunch of booze in here. Which I really can't do anything about, I don't think. Oh, maybe I can. I just have to hit them after they've taunted or something. Oh, that gives us another star. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that by any means. There we go. Nice work there. And... I think we're at a point where we need to... Back out. And... Let's head back out this cannon and see what we end up finding here. Or we can just end up in a bit of a situation where we roll back. We did get a star out of it, so I can't really complain, I don't think. Um, though I don't necessarily know. Oh, we've got to use that key that we ended up with. So now we're going back to that... Oh, we're going back to the point where we can... 
interact with a boss fight, but in a different way. So we've got to come back over here and then make our way up. But specifically up where that uh, Petey Piranha pinball fight is. So we can hit a switch and get something open. Oh, come on. Ricocheting right back down into the area where I can't do anything about it. I feel like we're still pretty close, though, so we're gonna try... Let's see if we can get the... There's the one gate. Oh, if I open both gates, does it shut them off? Or do they just have a bit of a default timer? Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Let's see how well we do. So we're... St I, I know I said we were going to kind of stop after that. But I do genuinely want to see what that boss fight looks like. Now that we've kind of re-unlocked it again. So we're going to try really hard to get up in that general direction, but it looks like we're going to end up in boss fight number, or world number two, if you will. Or we can grab ourselves a power-up from that general direction and backtrack to the point where we can get through, hopefully. And... Is that gonna... Oh, that was... I disagree with that. And now we've got the... Room recharge there. Yeah, so it's a matter of... Not being able to have both of the doors open at the same time is really what it comes down to. And a rotation wheel gives us a thumbs up. I don't know what that does. It looks like it just gives us a bit of a store, a score increase. And that's unfortunate, but we're just about through into the whatever it was that we stumbled into, so I definitely want to grab that if I can. Okay, and that's gate number one open. And there we go. Now we're back up here. And let's see if we can't get through the windmill. Oh, come on. Come on, just let me into the windmill here. Dang it. We were so close. Now I've got to make my way all the way back up there. And we've got gate one open again. So now it's just a matter of lining up that shot if we can. There we go. Now we're back up there. And we should just about be in a spot where we can go right up into the windmill, provided that we hit the right angle here. Oh, that switch stops the windmill from spinning. Oh, 
Oh, come on. These busy bees are causing me trouble. And... We've now got to trigger the... Portal for one. Or the door for one again. And now twice, I suppose, because... There we go. Or at least there it is initially. And we'll just come right back in here so we can get that pipe reset. Yeah, the start there. And that didn't hit what I wanted it to, which is really kind of unfortunate. Come on, just get me to the point where I can hit the number one gate. And... I'll be on my way, honestly. There we go. Now, let's hit the number one. Or we can just die, that's another option. Okay, let's... Try this again. There's... Oh, I didn't mean to use my power up there, but it's okay, I guess. There we go. Now, let's get out of the shop with the toad here. I don't know if I can actually get into that windmill without having it deactivated. That would be something interesting to know. It looks like I may be able to, but it might require some more precise timing. Go through the windmill. I've been trying to do this for like 20 minutes. Oh, really? I don't want to go back that way. But I guess I will if I'm getting it more consistently. Let's see if we can't reset the gates here. for the time being. Okay. It looks like the mole requires me to hit him in certain positions in rapid succession. I guess that was a mission that you could complete to get some an extra life, if you will. Okay, and now we're back down here, which I'm not upset about, so long as I can get through there. There we go. That was timed quite nicely. switch if we can. Oh, I got a star somehow. Not quite sure how that happened, but I will take it. Come on, give me... Give me... The pipe went away 
at a time where I couldn't do anything about it. That's unfortunate. Come on. Hit the number one door. Really? Is it that hard? Oh, goodness. I mean, we got an extra ball out of that, but... I've just been trying for 20 minutes to get this... ...number one area here. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, there's one. Just get me through that gate. Is it really that hard to ask that be what I do? And maybe it is impossible to go through that windmill when the gate isn't turned off. I mean, it'd make sense if that was a requirement for it. So let's see if we can't turn the gate off. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, but I guess it's a power-up that we have at our disposal we can use for our benefit. Come on. Just let me through. That's not what I wanted, but we'll just stop it and see what that ends up doing for us. A so 1-up, I'll take it. It's not my first choice of things I'm looking to do here. I'm really just looking to get through that windmill if that's up. And every single time, I end up not able to do it because I get some really, really bad luck. Okay. That was... I did not... I meant to back out of the shop, not activate my Super Ball. Oh, really? Come on! Get me through the door. Please let that be on the correct trajectory to just make it through the door there. Sure, I'll take a bunch of money. Thank you! Was it really that hard? That's where we are. Oh! It's that type of a quest. I've got to fetch a bunch of red coins from this level. That's... I mean, it's on brand, for sure. Okay, it would make sense that they're down here, too. That was not what I wanted. I mean... That was weird. I just don't know, like... It's a very interesting concept, and maybe I just need to sit down and practice it a bit more. I guess we now know a little bit more about uh, how this game works and such. So let's use uh, one of the or the extra life that we got here. Maybe give it uh, 
that's really interesting. So if you have a miniature ball, you can go into these little hornet's nests. That's really interesting, actually. And I'm assuming that if we take all, all of the hornets in here, we get a star. Yeah, that was going to be my guess. Except for, please let me in to claim it! That was... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And now I have to get that power up again somehow and then make my way through it to probably fight all of those hornets again if I had to guess. So here we might... No, it doesn't look like we can get another one of those. So we just lost some points, and that's okay. It's an interesting concept for sure. I don't know that it's one that I would spend hours on, but it's certainly something that uh, is unique, and because of that I do have to respect it. But that's all I'm going to do for today, I believe. We'll be back next week with something that should be a little more regular, or something that you can expect a little more regularly on our Fridays here. But thank you so much for your time. If you enjoyed today's video, even though it was a bit of an odd one, make sure that you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for the daily variety content. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. So I hope to see you then. Take care, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.